have already shuffled. And we'll be going to the present time. We'll take a look at how your person sees you, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. Just remember, the roles can be switched. They see you could be you see them. So keep that in mind. So coming up in June for the present time, we got the sun card and temperance. So I'm picking up that you had a lot of sunshine to someone's life or you're just looking for brighter days. Yeah, that sun card is very powerful. You see how the sun is just bursting in the sky? Or you could be looking for happier times. Yeah, so let's get into this reading. Now this sun card, just to explain it a little more, it's about things going really well. Your finances, finances they're in good shape with the sun card. But this doesn't mean you should lose your focus on what's truly important. And money is not very high on the list for some people. I know for me it is. And I'm just saying this because that's what the sun card is about. It's about focusing on, on what's truly important. For some people, maybe it's your health. So this is going to be a good time to socialize, to meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this card is a signifier that it's right around the corner. Now, the sun card is paired with temperance. Now, temperance is about things going quite well. Your relationships could be going good, but you may need to look at some deeper personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships. And in with your goals and aspirations. So basically coming up in June, like I said, you add a lot of sunshine to somebody's life. Or they to yours. Or you're just looking for bright and happy times. And that's what you'll be experiencing coming up in June. And because it's with temperance, it's going to be about finding balance. That's what's going to bring you the, the happy, the happiness. Finding balance, dealing with some past issues, letting go of anything you felt, guilt about, felt guilty about, letting that go. Any mistakes you feel you made in the past, letting that go. Yeah, it's, it's about finding peace of mind. And this will bring you to your bright and happy sunshine or just better days sunnier days yeah and if you've got any personal issues deal with it and then find balance so let's move on over let's take a look at how the person you're dealing with how they see you they see you like ten of cups Woo! ten of cups is wonderful they also see you like justice Ten of Cups, it's one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive in a reading. Ten of Cups is not short of any cups. All ten are there. So it's about happiness, perhaps in a more mature way. Either way, it's good. Ten of Cups, it speaks of a happy family life, even if you're single, and to the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about your parents siblings children pets and much more also you could be spiritually fulfilled with this ten of cups showing here it's a good card to see regardless of any question so they see you like a dream come true yeah dream come true is a ten of cups yeah, when you get this card, there's nothing, um, there's really nothing you have to worry about if you're asking questions about the relationship. Now, they also see you as justice. Justice, it deals with the ideal of karma, 
karma law and cause of effect. So it's going to be important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the act with the actions. I'm sorry. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. If you're involved in a court case coming up, it's likely to be, to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor with this justice card showing up here. So they see you as um, getting some clarity, some truth. Yeah, justice card. They see you as being justified. They see you thinking you got the right to this Ten of Cups here. Yeah. Justice is about feeling you have the right to do so. Yeah, justified. They see you thinking you're justified. This Ten of Cups, it's supposed to be yours. It's supposed to happen. Finally, justice has been served. I got my Ten of Cups. That's how they see you. Justified. Finally, my dream is coming true. It's about time. <laughs> yeah, you feel like it's supposed to happen. So now you have clarity and, and there's truth. Yeah. So you feel like finally you got your Ten of Cups. Finally a dream come true. That's how they see you. They see you could be thinking that way. Okay. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as the Nine of Swords and Two of Pentacles. Now, Nine of Swords is showing, it's showing anxiety. Yeah. Hardship, grief, nightmares, depression. That's how you see a person, Aquarius. What's going on here? They could be guarding against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious and you get this Nine of Swords, you need to take a good look at whether or not any of that is under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If this is the case, take a good look at it and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. There could be something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty really is. So like I said, you see them experiencing some hardship. Something's troubling them with regards to this connection. Something's, yeah, on their mind really bad. Now you also see them with the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking is not your friend now. You may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced, maybe. Be sure you're pay paying attention there if that's the case. So you see them as sometimes having trouble finding energy and time for you or for this connection. And it could be because Two of Pentacles is about a back and forth energy. Two of Pentacles is about a juggler. As you can see, that's what he's doing. And it causes imbalance. Two of Pentacles is also known as a two-timer. They got you and then they got somebody else. So, it's causing nightmares and anxiety. They, they have sleepless nights about this. Okay, so let's talk about why it's happening. 
Why it's happening? Got the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Ace of Cups is about powerful, beautiful new beginnings. When it comes to love, happiness, and affection, it's about new beginnings. Like I said, it means it couldn't mean it can mean love. It can because when you hear the word cups in the tarot, that's about love. So it could be new beginnings in other areas of your life. Also, now things are looking up with this Ace of Cups. People will respond to you with love, happiness, goodwill, more than usually. You'll be feeling really good about life. And it's a great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. Relationship turns, it takes a turn for the better. Um, that's why it's happening, possibly. And I say possibly because it's with the Nine of Wands. Okay, so the Nine of Wands... There's an anxiety again. It's heavy in this reading. Anxiety, worry, worry, being burdened and keyed up over concerns. First and the best step is to take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time. Because some of the worries, they'll turn out to be imaginary. So get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart one by one. And I say imaginary because if you take a look at the picture of this Nine of Wands, the card below, why it's happening, that's Nine of Wands. He's surrounded himself in all these wands, nine wands, and there's a fire behind him. It looks like, yeah, that looks like a fire to me. Anyway, he's about to battle. He's got one wand in his hand, and he's about to battle who? Oh, no one. There's no one coming towards him. There's no one around. So, the words could be imaginary. So, get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening. Comfort yourself. And if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Because asking for help, it's the mark of a strong person. So, Somebody's ready to be closed off and guarded. They're stressed out, worried, anxiety. So let's recap this reading so that we can get the complete picture because it's kind of scattered. I know, but that's okay. We'll take care of it right now. So basically, for the present time, the sun card in temperance, there's something that needs to be balanced out in this in your life, in this connection, it needs balance. It has a potential to have this um, um, sunshine. Sunshine is here in this reading. And sunshine is very strong and powerful. Yeah, um, your person, they see you as Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, they see you as a dream come true. Finally, it's happened. They see you as thinking that you got the right to this Ten of Cups with them. You deserve it. Justice has finally come in. You finally got your Ten of Cups. And, and nothing's going to get in the way. Because you deserve it. That's what justice is about. Yeah. Dream come true. Finally for me. Finally I got justice. I want this Ten of Cups. That's how they see you thinking. And you see them as having more, staying up at night. They're worried. They got anxiety. And it could be because, for a lot of you Aquarius, it's because they got someone else. They got, they got a wife. They got a girlfriend. They're living with someone. They're seeing someone else. So it's causing anxiety. Because they see you wanting this Ten of Cups with them. And they could want it with you too. Because we got the Ace of Cups here. It's about a beautiful new beginning in a love relationship. Beautiful. 
So they see that you're there's a deep attraction there with you with you and them. They see that and they feel that there's a lot of warmth there with this ace of clubs. But the anxiety is not going anywhere. It's heavy in this reading. So they're not making a choice. Your person's not making a choice just yet. They're, they're stuck in their head. They're stressed out. Um, you could feel like they're closing themselves off from you and they're guarded with this nine of wands because they haven't made a decision yet what they're going to do. Two of Pentacles is about knowing that um, multitasking Having more than one is not your friend, but they're doing it anyway. So they know that bright and they know that bright and happy sunny days are, are there waiting for them with you. Where you could feel this way with them. But this connection needs to be balanced. That's why temperance is here. It's not it's in, it's imbalanced right now. Because you feel like you have the right, you deserve this connection. It feels good, like a dream come true. They could feel the same way too. But they, they're not moving at all. And sometimes they close themselves off from you. They could feel that way. Because there's somebody else in the mix. Yeah, they're two-timing. They're juggling. So that's what I got for you, Aquarius. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, sub subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? Also, there's a link for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that June is a beautiful month for you. I hope that you um, come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading which is in about another four or five days. I hope that you're staying safe and staying strong during these virus times that we're having. And I hope that you have a great day. I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you at the next reading.